We've been watching, uh, especially this one supercell, which has had a history of incredible winds, 70 to 100 miles per hour, literally from South Dakota through Nebraska, Iowa, now on the Missouri border. Yeah, it's a storm that has transitioned from being an individualized supercell, then it gusts out, turns into a bow echo, goes back to rotating, and it all began, well, right about here. So uh, put it in motion, Sarah. We'll oh, see wow. that. Uh, back from where it began, uh, you can see this big, long track of where it has gone. It went through Omaha, and now it's coming down toward Lamoni, Iowa. And if we measure that out, we'll see that beginning about here, it has gone all the way down. It gets to the Iowa border here, wow. 500 miles. Wow. So that certainly is double the duration that you need dis distance-wise. Uh, and now we're beginning to get the second. So Can we you have, have just one. Uh, yes, when you have wow. one, just one that's with an individual storm like this one, that's called a progressive derecho. It's a little on the narrow side. There might be some sticklers that say it's not big enough. But now that we're getting a second or, or third of these, that are coming down and off to its west, it will definitely meet the width requirements. But when you get more than one of these bow echoes that are causing it, they become what is called a serial derecho event. And this one has gone probably, although I'm not sure this is all one storm, but 391 miles for that stretch. And so serial cumulatively, one. that becomes when there's more than one, produce a cumulative widespread wind swath. Those are called serial derechos. Interesting night, uh, Greg Force. All right, let's talk about where we are now and where this serial may go because that'll be, actually, we've still got both of them. Yeah, we still have the, the, the one individual that's down here, but then what I'm talking about, the serial, there's more than one of these lines and bows that are rolling along the same path, mostly going along the south flanks of the outflow boundary and, and the front that, that the first one had. So these storms obviously then are going to continue overnight. Let's do a forecast, Sarah. Uh, the highest uh, risk that we put out, the greatest risk for these bow echoes rolling across uh, and with tornadoes with it as well. But that overnight tonight is likely to roll into central parts of uh, Illinois and then even into tomorrow likely to keep going across parts of Ohio, Indiana, maybe getting all the way to the Appalachians there in parts of Pennsylvania, West Virginia, Northern Kentucky. So, And this may be the same bow we're watching now. I think so, yeah.